Hey guys, Chad Schroffkerbin here. Today, I'm going to continue my Joomla lessons with showing you how to create a menu and link your menu items to the articles on your website. Now, in the last tutorial, I told you guys to go ahead and make some more sections, categories, and articles so you can go ahead and get the most out of this tutorial. So hopefully you've done that. And if you have, let's go ahead and log into Joomla through our admin dashboard. And I'll show you really quick here what I have done between the two tutorials, just so you can get an idea. When we go to our section manager, you'll see I have added another section called videos, and I still have my new section. In the category manager, I now have a few more categories. I changed the astronomy category from the last tutorial to movie news because I'm going to gear this tutorial site towards kind of an entertainment site. So we have two categories for the news section, and you can see that right here. And we have two categories for the video section that I created. And now, if we go to the article manager, you'll see I have a bunch of different articles here as well. And again, I changed the Nebula article I had last time to something else, just to kind of keep with a certain theme here. And you'll see that all the articles are different. Like this article is in the news section, in the movies category. And all these are a bit different here, where they're located. You'll notice that I have an about article here that has no section or category. And that's because it is an uncategorized article, which I explained last time means that it doesn't belong in any section. It's just a standalone article. So let's go ahead and get going. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my menus tab and click on the main menu label right here. There's already a main menu created right away with Joomla. Now you can create additional menus, which I can show you later on how to do. But for right now, let's just concentrate on creating menu items in the main menu. When we go to the main menu, you will see that we only have one item and that's home. And again, that's default. And that brings us to our home page, this one right here on our website. Now you can get rid of that if you want, but we're going to leave it here for right now. And I advise that you always have a home page. actually, just kind of gives it a central way of getting back to your home page. <laughs> but let's go ahead and click new on our dashboard. Now we have a bunch of different options here. The first thing we're going to do is create an about menu item to link to our about article. And so we are going to link to a single article only. To do this, we click on the articles button and then we have more options. Which, what we're gonna do is click this one right here, article layout. This will display a single article. Now we are brought to the part where we label and define what our menu item is. So for the title, I'm going to name it about because it's about my website. The parent item is going to be top because I don't want this item in another item. I want it on the menu. And I want to go ahead and select the article that I want to link this to. So we're gonna go here and hit select and your article listings will show up. You're going to go ahead or I'm gonna go ahead, yours might be different and select about. Once you have about selected, you can go through here and you can define several different things for the menu item. Now you can actually do this with each individual article as well, but if you want to define all your articles in a certain menu item to be as one thing, you can do it all right here. And you have many options such as showing the article title, showing the section name, the author name, the date modified, date created, and all this kind of stuff. Now, all of this is up to you. Do you wanna show the author in the article? Do you wanna show the date? Again, all completely up to you. For right now, I'm going to leave these as they are. And if we want to change them later on, I'll go ahead and do that. So once I have all this selected, I will go ahead and hit save. We have the about menu now on here, and it is published, which means it is live on the website. So I'm going to come back here to my home page and I'm going to refresh. 
we now have an about link. If we click it, our about page is shown and you can go through and read the article. Now, <clears throat> let's go ahead and look at a way to display a bunch of articles at once. The first thing we need to do is create a new menu item as we did before. Now we're going to select the articles button. Now remember those sections and categories we created? Well this is where it comes in handy. You can e either display a listing of a category or a section. And of course if you display a section all the categories within that section will be displayed as well. So let's go ahead and do that one first. Go ahead and select section blog format right here. Now I'm going to label this my, um, menu item news just like that. And again I'm going to keep the parent item at top. Now we're going to come over here to the parameters for our section and I'm going to put it on news because this is the news uh, menu item. Now we have some options down here that allows us to display how the articles are presented on this page. I will, sh I will kind of like demonstrate what all these do in a second here. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply this or save it for right now and I'm going to go back to my website I'm going to refresh the page and I'm going to click the news button right here. Now you'll see that all of the articles that were in that news section are displayed on this page. And so people can go through and they can read the intros and they can click read more if they choose to and read the whole article. Hit back there for a second. So if we come back to our um, menu item options here, you'll see that we have an option here called leading and it's labeled one. When we go back to our website, you'll notice that this first article takes up all of the two columns because you see that we have it split into two columns right now. This is what leading means. So if we had two leading items, I'll apply this really quick. Let me go back to our news page and refresh it. Then two of those articles will take up two of the um, columns and then the rest will be split up. So that's what that does. So you can even set it to zero if you want to. We'll just apply. And then you'll have no articles that are taking up two columns. Okay, let's check out what number of intros means. Right now it's set to four. That means that we will have four articles like this displayed on any given listing page. So for instance, if I go ahead and I change this number to two and hit apply and then go back to my page and refresh it, you'll see here that we have two articles and then we'll have an indicator down here to go to the next page of articles and we can click next and that'll bring us to the next page obviously of articles. So if you have this set to 20 and you have hundreds of articles, each listing on your news page will have 20 articles and then you'll hit next to go to the next 20 and so on and so forth. Now number of columns is pretty easy to figure out. Right now we have two. If we set it to one and we hit apply, we go back to our web page and hit refresh, obviously then it's just one column instead of you know having side-by-side -side articles listing like that. Number of links dictates how many links you have in the more articles right here. Since we have this set to two intros per, uh, per page, um, this will basically display what's going to be on the next page when we click next. So instead of hitting next, they can go ahead and just click on the title of your articles to get to them really quick and to read off about what they are all about. So. That basically um, covers the parameters for your basic menu items for article listings like that. Now, let's go ahead and expand upon this a little bit. First, I'm gonna go ahead and just change this back to, I'm gonna change it to 10 actually, in case if we add more articles later on. And I'm going to leave my columns at one. And I'm going to do one more thing here. 
I'm going to go down here, remember these parameters, and I'm going to go to section name and change to show and category title to show as well. And I'm going to apply that. And I'm going to now refresh this page. So now as you can see, we have the categories and the sections showing for each of these items. For instance, this particular article belongs in other news, while this one belongs in movie news. Remember, these are our categories. So what if we want a menu item just to go to this category only, so we don't see the other news item? Well, that's very easily done. So let's go back to our menu. Let's go ahead and hit save on this news item. And let's go ahead and create a new menu item. And we're going to go to the articles section again. And this time, instead of um, selecting section blog layout, we're going to select category blog layout. And again, this time I'm going to name it other news because that's one of the categories that I have. And this time I'm going to take this parent item and place it on news. So that way other news is going to be under the news item on my menu. I'm going to come over here to the category and I'm going to select other news, news slash other news. And I'm going to just keep my options kind of similar to how I had it on the other one, just like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Go to my website and hit refresh. And now you'll see that we have an indented menu item under news. So let's say for instance, you're browsing news. The, the viewer's browsing news and like, yep, good. This is all news. This is all that I want, but I'd like to narrow it down. I would like other news only. So they click this. Then you only have the other news showing. So they don't have to go through the movie news. So again, that's a very good way to narrow things down. You don't even have to do the section um, menu item if you don't want to. That's completely up to you. I'm just showing you a way that would work if you wanted to have both. And it makes sense to put this menu item under this one if it's basically a filtered version of that, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. I'm going to go ahead and save this um, menu item now, and I'm going to create one more for the news section. Go to articles, and I'm going to go to category blog layout again, and I'm going to title this one movie news. Get rid of that S there. And again, I'm going to put it under news. And for the category, I'm going to select news slash movie news, and then put the leading to zero, intro to 10, and columns to one, and apply it. So again now, when you go to news, you can see it all, or you can go ahead and select between the two section, or to the two categories that you have in that section. And again, how you organize it is completely up to you. Okay, there is one more way I'd like to show you how to list your articles really quick. I'm going to go ahead and save this menu item and create a new one. And I'm going to go to articles. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to category list layout. I'm going to type for my title, animation, oops, videos. And I'm going to leave it on the top. For the category right here, I'm going to select videos slash animation. I'm going to leave the links at 10 for right now. And there's a couple of other parameters you can um, switch for this, but I'm just going to leave everything the way it is right now and hit apply. Now, if I go to refresh this page, you'll see we have our new menu item right here and click that. And now you'll see that it's like a list. Obviously, since I selected list listing, you know, for my um, category type. And so there's no like intro or anything. It's displayed how you want it to. You can display it alphabetically or when it was recently added. And basically, you can just go through here and select which article you want, just like that. And again, depending on how what you want to do 
is completely up to you on how you want to list these things. There's also components out there that allow you to make listings, and I can get to that in a later tutorial on how to install plugins and components and how to use them and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, that is a basic overview of how to use menu items in Joomla. I hope you found it helpful. Next time, I'll be going over some more specifics on how to add some other items to the menu. So until then, I'll see you guys next time.